In this video, you'll learn how to configure a multi-node installation, create a virtual proxy, balance loads, and link a virtual proxy to a proxy. To configure a multi-node installation, download the setup file from click.com. Use a server administrator account to run the installation, or create an account for managing ClickSense on the server that you have chosen to be the central node in your configuration. Once the account is created, assign it administrative rights. Next, run the setup file you downloaded and follow the installation steps. Select the central node option during the installation. Use the account you just created or use the account that you are using to manage the platform as an administrator. Be sure the local machine name is correct. In a standard installation, all services run on the same computer. This works fine as long as the load on the server doesn't become too heavy. As soon as your installation starts to grow, you may need more computers to handle the load. To do this, you must first open the Click Management Console, or QMC. Your default web browser opens. Now you have to enter your serial number and control number to license the software. With the license information entered, you are able to navigate in the QMC. You can choose to enable HTTP and deactivate HTTPS in the QMC proxy settings. Next, we will install a ClickSense RIM node on another server. You can connect to the server using a remote desktop connection. Copy and paste the ClickSense setup file and then run a quick installation. For this server, we will install a RIM node. Here we do not enter user information, so in this machine, the service will be installed with local system services. However, you have to verify that the user who runs the installation has the administrative rights on this server. Now you have to come back to the server where the central node is installed and create a new node. In the node edit page, you insert the name of the node and insert the host name of the machine where the RIM node is installed. Set the purpose of the node to production, development, or both. Next, choose which services you can run in this node. You can have additional computers running only some of the services and still manage the entire cluster as if it were only one computer. Now the central node will start to communicate with the RIM node. After communication with the RIM node is established, a dialog box asking for authorization of the certificate is displayed. Copy the URL and paste it in the browser on the machine where the RIM node is installed. Then, do the same with the password displayed in the dialog box. As you can see, the confirmation message is displayed. Please note, when you delete a node, you have to uninstall ClickSense on the machine where the RIM node is installed. Now go back to the QMC and make sure that the status of the added RIM node has changed to running. In this way, data will be synchronized from this node to other nodes. Check whether the proxies are running. 
and check allow the HTT port on the RIM node. You can also handle different settings for authentication, session handling, and load balancing on the same physical server by creating virtual proxies. This allows you to reduce the number of servers needed to create different configurations. Insert a description and a prefix. Then you can use the same value of the prefix properties as a suffix in the cookie name. When done, you can add load balancing by selecting one or more nodes from the list. When you select Apply, an Associated Items tab appears in the right panel. Click on Proxies to associate the virtual proxy to a proxy. Click on Link and select a proxy from the list. You can now deploy the configuration that best fits your needs. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.